Hey, what's going on everyone? This your boy Juan again, back at it with another video. But today, we're gonna do a very special unboxing. I have here the iPhone 10, both in space gray and in silver. Now, I was very lucky to get two devices uh, on launch day. I got the space gray through the carrier, which was Verizon. I went online and I pre-ordered on the 27th. And I got this one at the physical Verizon store right early in the morning. This is the 10th anniversary of the iPhone, so Apple decided to skip the nine and go straight to iPhone 10. Both of these phones are the 64 gig and they were going for about a thousand dollars. A lot of people weren't able to snatch one, so I feel pretty lucky that I was actually able to snatch two. I'm not gonna do too much talking. I know you guys just can't wait to see the phones, so let's get right into the unboxing. Okay guys, so here it is, the iPhone 10 in silver and in space gray. Now, this is the first time that I'm doing an iPhone unboxing. I've actually never owned an iPhone before. I've owned iPads in the past, but I've been an Android user my whole life. So I figured what better time to switch to Apple than with the release of the iPhone 10. Okay, so let's open the box. Designed by Apple in California. These are most probably the instruction manuals. And here it is, guys. Oh, wow. It looks pretty nice. Now, I was checking out the devices at the store, and I can say that I like the space gray better than the silver. The edges are made of stainless steel, but they match the black color all around. So now let's go ahead and take out the plastic. Oh wow, pretty nice. I really like this color because you can't really tell where the screen and the edges meet. It actually feels like one solid piece of glass. On the back we have the dual camera and we have glass in front and in back of the device. Apple is claiming that this is the toughest screen on any phone right now. Okay, so let's see what else is in the box. We have wired uh, headphones here. These are not wireless ear pods. On the back we have an adapter for auxiliary cables and the power brick and the charging cord. Now the iPhone 10 does support fast charge, but that does not come included in the box. That's kind of a disappointment. All the Android phones that I've used that support fast charge come with the fast charge power brick on the box, but unfortunately Apple is not including it on the package. You are gonna have to purchase these separately. And that's pretty much it guys. Pretty simple unboxing. So let's go ahead and open the silver one. Okay, let's slide the top off. Once again, instruction manuals. And there it is. The iPhone 10 silver version. I don't know why Apple will say this is silver. Maybe because of the chrome edges, but this phone looks pretty much white. I personally think the chrome dot edges looks kind of tacky, but that's my own personal opinion. Once again, let's take out the plastics. Also very sleek, looks very nice. Dual cameras on the back, silver Apple logo, dual speakers on the bottom volume up volume down on the left side no headphone jack Apple killed the headphone jack on the iPhone 7 all right now let's put these side by side I'm really liking the space gray a lot better than the silver version but I mean overall these are both really good looking devices go ahead and leave a comment down below which color do you prefer do you like the all black finish on the space gray or do you prefer the chromed out edges and the white back on the silver version? Now, even though these phones are a lot smaller than the 7 Plus or the 8 Plus, they actually feel kind of heavy for their size. That's not a bad thing. That actually makes the phone feel more solid. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and power on the device. I'm pretty sure we have to go through a setup process. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll come back to check out the software. Here it is, guys, a powered on iPhone 10. 
The screen looks really nice. This is the first time that Apple is using OLED screens on their devices. Everything before the iPhone 10 uses LCD screens. So a change to OLED is definitely a step up. Now the screen might not get as bright as other phones, but it looks really nice. It's very sharp and it's not overexposed either. Very natural looking colors. Now another major difference between the iPhone 10 and older models is that there is no more home button. Apple decided to replace the fingerprint sensor with face id on the top of the phone you guys can see a black slab that is where apple decided to place all the sensors face id uses lasers to scan your face and unlock the device apple does claim that this is even more secure than fingerprint readers if you swipe down from the right top corner of the phone you will get all your tangles volume switch wi-fi bluetooth switch screen brightness etc on the iphone 10 Gestures is one of the main ways to control the phone. You can still scroll left and right to go through all your apps. And if you scroll left, you will get the widget screen. Okay guys, so I want to do a comprehensive review. But before I go ahead and do that, I'm going to be using the device for about two weeks to really get to know it better. But other than that guys, there it is. The iPhone 10 in silver and space gray. This has really been one of the most major changes that Apple has done to its phones since the launch of the iPhone 4. I really believe that this is Steve Jobs' vision of a device with no buttons and a huge gorgeous tactile screen. If you guys enjoyed this unboxing, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more content. Go ahead and check out other reviews and unboxings on my channel. And lastly, like I've mentioned, stay tuned for a comprehensive review in about a week or two. This has been your boy Juan, and I hope I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace.